Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, I'm not dead yet. For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Proverbs 24, verse 16. Sometimes Christians become frustrated and withdrawn from activities on the basis of personal struggles. They think it's all over. But God says, not so. The best is yet to come. The Lord doesn't like pity parties, and those who have them are shocked to find that although he is invited, he seldom attends. Many morbid mourners will come to sit with you as you weep over your dear departed dreams. But if you want the Lord to come, you mustn't tell him that you aren't planning to get up. If you ever get around people who have accomplished much, they will tell you that those accomplishments didn't come without price. Generally, that cost is much more expensive than you normally want to pay. Still, the cost of total transformation means different things to different people. When you have arrived at your destination, don't be surprised that some people would assume that everything achieved came without a price. The real price of success lies within the need to persevere. The trophy is never given to someone who does not complete the task. Setbacks are just setups for God to show what he is able to do. Funerals are for people who have accepted the thought that everything is over. Don't do that. Instead, tell the enemy, I am not dead yet. The whole theme of being a child of God is one of rising again. However, you can't rise until you fall. Now, that doesn't mean that you should fall into sin. It means you shall allow the resurrecting power of the Holy Ghost to operate in your life regardless of whether you have fallen into sin, discouragement, apathy, or fear. There are obstacles that can trip you as you escalate towards productivity, but it doesn't matter what trip you, it matters that you rise up. People who never experience these things generally are people who don't know anything. There is a certain safety in being dormant. Nothing is won, but nothing is lost. I would rather walk on the water with Jesus. I would rather nearly drown and have to be saved than play it safe and never experience the miraculous. The quote of the day, tell the enemy, I'm not dead yet. God bless you as you walk today in the power of the Holy Ghost and experience a miracle.